In this video, I'm going to tell you about my systematic literature review course. By following this course, you can complete your systematic literature review paper in a step-by-step -step manner. I have designed this course in a very modular format. There are six modules in total, and these six modules refer to the core sections that any systematic literature review paper should have. So let's have a look at the table of contents. The course begins with an overview of the systematic literature review program. The course then offers a welcome, an introduction, and more details on how you should benefit by completing this course. Then we start the first module, which is on introduction. As you can see, there are three videos on three different topics, and then there is a Google document template that I have designed so that you can use it for writing your systematic literature review paper. This is a very useful document because it gives you a lot of ideas and the structure for your paper. Each module has some videos, some writing tasks, some research activities and so on. So first I will go through all the modules in the table of content. So in the module one on introduction, there are several sub modules. So the first sub module is this. The second sub module is on prior literature review. This is important because you need to understand and showcase in your SLR paper, what existing work has been done or who has written SLR papers on a topic that you are planning to write. So it is a literature review for a literature review paper. So here I have given many examples many real world examples from different journals that have a prior literature review section. All of these are video. The next part is or the next module sub module is on research questions. Every SLR paper has to have at least one research question or can have more than one research question, but at least one question is compulsory. So in this sub module, I go through many different question types so that you can get an idea of what form of questions you can aim for. The next sub module in module one talks about the background and how to write the background section in your introduction. There are many different examples that I have covered here. Next, I talk about the importance of using statistics to quantify and justify your research problem. So here I have shown how you can use statistics to prove that the problem that you're addressing for your research is very important. So there are some examples here. Uh, there are six videos and each video has multiple examples for statistics. Next. Also looking for new campus ambassadors. If you would like to represent me, please join my WhatsApp group for campus ambassadors. Link is in the description below. That is all I have to say in this video. I'm Vidipodar. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in my next video.